In this video we will learn how to fix iTunes could not connect to the iPhone because invalid response was received from the device. So let's begin. So you might be facing errors while using iTunes. To fix these errors we have to go and download a single piece of a software from Microsoft and do some tweaks so that the error can go. For that just go and in your description and there will be a link to the support.microsoft.com that will land to you, the, uh, you to this page where it says fix problem that block programs from being installed or removed. You have to here just go and download a single piece of a software and here it's only a 216kb software just go and double click it and here it is a software just go and click on next wait for it and here just go and click on uninstalling and here just go and select for apple software update here we have apple software update just go and click on it and click next yes try uninstall it will take some time and will attempt to uninstall the apple software update just go and close it and here again go to your start and type in here for control panel just go and open the control panel desktop app and here click on uninstall a program and here search for iTunes so here we have iTunes just go and right click it click on uninstall click yes actually the main problem is that we are using the outdated versions of the iTunes we have to cleanly install all the iTunes related Apple applications so that we can have a clean and updated new install for that you have to first go and uninstall the Apple software update using the Microsoft tool to uninstall and after that you have to go and un uninstall iTunes from your control panel wait for it it will take some time once the uninstall is complete just go and cross it and there will be another link in the description that will land you to this page where it says www.apple.com slash itunes slash download and here it says downloads in second entertain forever just go and click on your respective version of downloading for 32 bit or 64 bit just go and click on your respective version I am clicking on the 64 bit and the download will start I will be back when the download is finished so the latest version of iTunes 64 bit software is here it's about 258 MB you might have a heavy software when you will be downloading once you have downloaded the latest version of iTunes just go and install it like any other application by following all these steps hope the problem will be solved if you still have an issue you can comment below i will try to answer that but before you go please subscribe like and share thank you